My name is Larry Brandy and I'm a Radio Man from Gondoblin in central New South Wales. I'm very passionate about promoting Aboriginal culture in a positive environment. I love what I do. I grew up in a small country town and copped negative comments about Aboriginal culture. It is not a very nice feeling to have people say and think you are inferior to them. Racism is ignorance and if I can spread information about my culture in a positive manner then hopefully it will help a little towards better understanding and relationships between black and white people in this country. In 1990, I worked as a field officer with the Radio Regional Aboriginal Land Council in Wagga Wagga, New South Wales. I assisted archaeologists in looking for and identifying Aboriginal sites when they conducted surveys within the traditional lands of the Radio Nation. From this experience, I became much more knowledgeable about my Aboriginal heritage. Eventually, with this knowledge, I started passing it on in a storytelling form to others. I have developed a storytelling program which is based around using traditional artefacts as authentic props, such as stone axes, boomerangs, spear throwers, dilly bags and clapsticks, using other props such as emu and kangaroo masks and including Aboriginal language in the story program. Aboriginal stories, Dreamtime, have been handed down for thousands of years and are still the same today as when told in the Ballander. Radio word for beginning. A long time ago, in the beginning, the Ballander, the beginning, lived a huge frog called Tiddalik. He was the biggest frog you ever seen. He was bigger than Buru the kangaroo, bigger than a dinosaur, bigger than an action bus, bigger than Uluru, the big red rock. One morning, Tiddalik woke with a huge thirst and started drinking all the water from the little puddles. Soon there was no more water left. In 2005, I was presented with a Children's Week Award for services to children in the ACT. On many occasions, I've volunteered to give presentations to children as a way of increasing understanding of Aboriginal culture. Along with other awardees, I was invited to Government House to meet the Governor-General and his wife. In 2008, I was awarded NAIDOC Person of the Year Award for my many years of promoting Aboriginal culture to a wide range of audiences through my storytelling. I would like for children of all cultures to learn about Aboriginal culture through storytelling. I want Aboriginal kids to know that they have a past and for them to be very proud of it. My message comes direct from the heart. You do the didgeridoo. Make your hands into a fist. Put them together to look like a didgeridoo. Bring them in front of your mouth and make a sound like this. Now do the wombat wobble. Bend your arms at your sides with your fists clenched. Bend your knees just a little. Then twist and wiggle your hips. Now do the kangaroo. You hold your arms in front with your wrists limp, like a kangaroo's paws, and then jump up and down with your feet together. Now do the emu too. Hold your right arm up and make your fingers like a bird's beak. Hold your left arm behind your back with your hand cupped towards the sky. Then push both your arms back and forth. Now jump in the air and turn around and say to mum and dad and all your friends in a big love heart. <laughs>